Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to calculate the acceleration of gravity using a ramp to slow things down so that we don't have a requirement of a high-speed video camera. So let's say we push a, a cart up a ramp and kind of like the ball bouncing, it will go up and then back down to a certain point. And we could have markings on the um, ramp, and we could video from above, so we could get distances, and the camera will have timestamp. So if we have distances and time, we can get velocity, so we can get acceleration. Um, <clears throat> but to check that, we're going to need to say, well, what kind of an acceleration would we expect if we had a 1.1 meter board and we lifted it up off the ground 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters? Well, let's find out um, what slope that is. So that is 0 0.1 over 1.1. So we would expect about 9% of, of the speed and of the acceleration and everything. So if we say 0 0.91 times, a 9.81, which is the acceleration straight down with gravity, of gravity. Oops. I got the decimal in the wrong spot there. Well, that makes sense. Um, it's about 10%, so instead of, you know, so it's less than, it was almost 10 meters per second if you just drop it straight down, so it should be close to 1 if you get about 10% of the speed. So 0.9 more or less is the acceleration that we would expect on a ramp like this, meters per second every second. Now you can choose what, how high you want to lift the board. You could choose 5 centimeters, 15 centimeters, whatever you want to do, but that will change what you expect that the acceleration will be. When you get your measurements, you see if they match what you expect. So let's see, let's say we push this cart up the ramp, and we're videoing, and we let go right here, and it goes... So let's say you measure the back of the car going 30 centimeters up and then back um, to the same spot. So find the time that it takes to go from this spot up to the top and back down, just so we can be more accurate on that time where it's hard to tell if it started or not. So let's say we find... Um, the time that it takes to go 30 centimeters, or, yeah. So the total time going up and down that ramp would be uh, 1.64. So let's say, like, maybe it would be 0.2 seconds, and then 1.84 seconds on the way back down, passing a certain point. So the difference between those two would be 1.64 seconds. So if I wanted to know the average speed, I would take my distance of 30 centimeters, which is 0.3 meters, divided by 1.64 seconds. So that gives me a velocity of... Sorry, that's the time up and back. So we could either do 60 centimeters divided by 1.64, or we could say that would be 0 0.3 meters divided by half of the time, which would be 0 0.82 seconds for an average velocity of 0.366 meters per second. Well, at the top of the push, 
the velocity will, will be zero, and that when it comes back down to the bottom will be 0 0.366 meters per second. I'm sorry, the average is 0.366. So the total would be, I mean, the fastest speed right here would be twice the average. So that would be 0 0.731. Or 732 anyways that would be meters per second max and how long did it take me to get up to that speed well it took me 0.82 seconds from the top of the push to back down to that spot so if I say well I got up to 0 0.732 meters per second and it took me 0 0.82 seconds That gives me an acceleration of 0 0.893 meters per second every second, which is very close to this one that we thought the acceleration would be about 0.89, and it is about 0.89 according to the video clip and according to the slope.